Hey guys, I'm Asif Fakir on this is your video. So let's make this type of trail very quickly. And if you like this tutorial, please like, share and comment. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's start this. So let's start this. So I have this empty material and trail. So I will make this translucent. Let's make this this. And I will use this texture, this aura. And the opacity and type aura. And then I will just pan this on negative x. And then I'll take a radial and just multiply both together. And if I preview, this is how it would look. And then I will take the particle color. This is how it looks. And I will make it unlit. And then multiply it with this. And let's use a power and then multiply. Like this here. And same I will do the opacity. Okay, and to fade it from the back side, you can also take a texture coordinate and shift C for the mask. I will take the red channel. By preview, this is how it looks. I want to invert this and then multiply for the power. So we have this uh, material. So I will just save this and browse this. And I have this particle system, it has default emitter. Uh, this fountain so first thing what i'll do i'll remove this and i'll take just the three particles or four particles whatever you want spawn once i don't need all these things i will delete and then i will take the rotate around point and there's a radius that's just 200 and this is the speed it's rotating but we can see only one particle so the phase you can randomize or you can connect with the execution index id and I will label this. Now we have three particles rotating, and this is the speed. Let's make this much. Maybe three in there. So we have this, and let's call it source. And also that this particle should not die. So I will just disable the life. This, and then I will right click and take uh, fountain again, and let's call it trail. And what I'll change. First, I'll remove all these things and I'll type here from other, uh, another emitter. Type the name here, source, fix. There will be one more module of it here. Now you have trail. And instead of this, I want ribbon. So I will delete this and take a ribbon. And also increase the ribbon width, maybe 40. And you have to change something. First thing is life, maybe 0.5 or 1. Then in this source, I will make it persistent ID. Keep in mind, it should be on. Then here, you should uh, change this to ribbon ID. And that's it. Now in the ribbon, let's use the material we have created. And let's make this little bright. Maybe it's three. And instead of this are uh, stretching, so in instead of these UVs, I will use the uh, total segment, total length, sorry, like this. So when you are using, like, you are using this default setting, which uh, we have uh, currently, and you want to spin fast, your ribbon will stretch like this. If you want, uh, should not stretch, but you can do here, use this. And now if I increase the speed like one, still the length is same. So I'll make this point two again. And to increase the length, you can increase here like this. And I'll increase the spawn rate also a little bit. So you have now this mode. I will turn off this and then I can duplicate this trail. Make this brighter one uh, shorting one. And the next. I will make this one black and maybe I'll increase the alpha. And if I preview, this is how it looks, maybe even more, this much, and also increase the length. And now this is how it will look. So this is how you can make cool trails like this in a very short way. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye. And if you like this, please subscribe my channel. Thanks, bye.